Hi, Keila. How are you? Good, thank you. Congratulations on your nomination. Where's your head at right now? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> I just know one thing, like, I'm excited, and then all the other emotions, they're just kind of swimming around in my head. I just can't describe any right now. So, yeah. Does, uh, do, I don't suppose, Sebastian and Florence and all the rest know yet, or do they? Have, have they sent you a text yet? Do you know? I have no idea. Like, I don't know if they do know, if they don't. But I know, so I'm happy. <laughs> as long as I know. Um, and it's great because I didn't expect it at all, especially at this age. So I'm over the moon right now, and I'm really going to savour this entire thing. Well, may I say, I've seen the film, and your performance is fantastic, but quite a gruelling role to take on. How did you prepare for, for the role? Because there's a lot with this girl that to, to play. It's not just one performance, there's a lot going on. Yeah, so I think what really helped, though, was having my mum be able to be involved in it because it wasn't as though we were just speaking about my character but we were also speaking about hers and how our characters intertwined in a way and even just the walks to school we just chat and it made everything so much easier and I also would do the rosary and the prayer 33 times a day so I really got into all the prayers but I'd read the book and I'd read the script and I didn't really need to do much more because I just fell in love with it and I knew exactly what I wanted to do the minute I got the taping, so yeah. How much of an inspiration is someone like Florence to you? Because she's been in similar situations with you. She started quite young and she went on to, to big fame but won awards. How much of an inspiration and, and a, a teacher was she to you during this film? Well, to be honest, I'd watched one or two of Florence's movies before but I had no idea how big she was, so it never really, when I thought famous actress, I'd never thought of Florence Pugh, but I think it was better that way because I, I kind of, I met her like I would with a teacher. She would, I was very respectful and she was also the same to me and being able to work with her as well, she exceeded expectations, she didn't just live up to them, she blew everyone away. And being able to work beside and with Florence Pugh made everything so easy because you know you're trusting that she knows exactly what she needs to do and she was just so sweet and loving and yeah. How was it working for Sebastian? Because he's worked with people like Julianne Moore and Rachel Weisz and Rachel McAdams over the year. How, much, how, how fun was it to work with him and inspirational to work with a director like that? It was great because, as I said, like there was so much trust and love when shooting and being able to work with such an artistically minded director, it was phenomenal because I trusted him with whatever he needed and he wasn't the one director who was just looking for one thing but he also knew when to give you notes. So it gave everyone creativity to kind of think outside the box and do things that would, people wouldn't have thought would have ended up in the movie that did. And also you knew with a director like him, he would make the right decisions of what will end up in the movie and what will stay on the drawing boards. So being able to work with Sebastian was fantastic. He's just amazing. Yeah. Well, I wish you all the best. Congratulations again. Thank you I hope so it goes well for you. Thanks so much. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey You Guys.